Welcome to the channel. In this class, I am explaining about uh, planes. What does it mean by plane? It's very important. Actually, planes comes from three dimensional coordinates. Also from two dimensional coordinates, but mainly planes comes from three dimensional coordinates. You can form a plane by three dimensional coordinates. This is very important point which you have to observe. See here, a plane is a subset or proper subset of uh, R cube, means what? Three dimensional coordinates. What are three dimensional coordinates? Those belongs to real numbers. So, what is plane? A plane is a proper subset of R cube. What is R cube? Which is three dimensional. Those digits or numbers belongs to real numbers. Okay? Okay. Next one. Next point is a plane has at least three non collinear points. Okay, it's a very important point this one because a plane has at least three non collinear points. Means what? Non collinear means what? Collinear means what? Non collinear means those three points are not in the same straight line. Okay? But there's at least two points are joining the line in that plane. In among these three points, non collinear points at least two points, any two points can be joined a line in a plane, place in that plane. So, among three points, among these three points, three non collinear points, at least two points, two points joining the line joining the line lies in that plane this is also a very important point see guys at least three points are there in plane but in these three non collinear points at least two points joining that line lies in that plane lies in that plane for example for example this is a plane this is a at least two points joining that plane that is a b so that is important point which you have to observe here okay next one is suppose Suppose phi is a plane, is a plane, L is a line, L is a line, phi is a plane, L is a line, and line is passing through the Point P. Line, this is a line, L is a line, and phi is a plane, but this line is passing through point P. At that time, at that time, line is perpendicular to plane. At that time, every line. 
crossing through P is perpendicular to is perpendicular to line L. Please observe this sentence carefully. Pi is a plane. Pi is a plane. Suppose this is something plane that contains as a, the coordinates. L is a line. Suppose L is a line passing through P. This is a P. Okay. Every line passing through the P. This line. Passing a perpendicular line. So take this perpendicular. Take this perpendicular. That is the point which you have to observe. Okay. So this is a plane. Pi is a plane. L is a line. This line passing through point P. Point P. But every line passing through this point is perpendicular to this line. That is the important point which you have to observe in the plane. Okay. Next point is normal form of a plane is Lx plus My plus Nz equals to P. This is the normal form of a plane. Please remember this plane. This line, this formula is very important in future classes, future problems. Okay. A plane, a plane passing through the points points A comma B comma C is is denoted by a, B, C. In this way, you can denote a plane passing through the three points. Okay? Those three are non collinear points, but at least two are connecting a line. That line lies in the in that plane itself. Okay? This is some introduction about uh, planes. We can do some problems regarding planes in future classes. Please uh, practice this. Some interaction about uh, plane. Okay guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel Mathweb. Like and share it. Thank you.